No, you moved your arm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the, <strain. laughs> the arm strain. My nose. Soreness. Hey guys, welcome to our first episode of the new series on Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. This is Morgan and Garrett, ready to dive into this ocean of entertainment. This is a lot. This is like a lot more of a like a passion project sort of thing because it's like this game was probably part of like a lot of people's childhoods. And oh stuff. yeah, it was definitely a part of mine. I played the old Battle for Bikini Bottom for the GameCube. Those were good days. Those were such good days because it's one oh, of the yeah, few games were. that's friendly enough to kids that you can literally die and then come back and you don't have to worry yeah. about lives or continues or it's save. It's such a classic anything. game too. It I'm so, so glad that they remastered it. THQ I'm also Nordic. pretty pretty surprised that this THQ is such Nordic. a dream come true for me. I'm so happy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow. This it's is just like the old one. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. A new game, I guess. Boo Guide. Boo Guide. That's like our new joke now. Oh my gosh. This is amazing, dude. Start smart camera. Oh, that means it'll automate. Controls, non vibration on. This is so cool, dude. Ah, it's so good. New game. New game. Boo guy. Boo guy. Oh, here we go, dude. I'm so excited. This is so cool. Man. Oh, oh I'm I so wonder, giddy. I'm so giddy. I wonder how long they like, um, we're working, working on, this. on this. I don't know. I literally didn't hear it until like a month before it was released. I never heard about it yet. Yeah. I don't know. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today, it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one, is Plankton a genius? Answer, yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw at the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army! Hang on! I want to get a photo for my scrap... Oh. Hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Oh, no, 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 wait! But I'm your master! I made you! No! No! Oh, my good China! My good China. <laughs> wow. Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? 
It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tiki Tana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Vita Schnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook it. And in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. I wonder what that joke is supposed to be. Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Whoa! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Wow. You know, I'll refrain from commenting on the awkward lighting and the slightly strange three-dimensional models. I mean, they were always kind of <laughs> awkward. Yeah, but I mean, for a game made in like 2020, I was yeah, kind of... It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. It looks... I think I'm going to have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. It looks a lot better wow. in game. It really does. What a fantastic idea. These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? Wow. Wow. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Wow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Explore the kitchen. Explore, Explore the bedroom. The bedroom. Explore, Explore the, the attic. attic. Explore the closet. Can you move? No. Uh, okay, let's see if I... Whoa. Oh, look at that! This is they amazing! Added a map. Wow! This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, my heart. Oh. Wow, that's cool. Uh, let me see if so what we're trying to figure out here folks is how we can quick swap because we're you know We're gonna be doing this so that he plays one. I play one. He plays yeah, one. I he'll play be one. doing the first one So oh, yes, I love it. Oh love my gosh. This mechanic. is the greatest yeah, thing ever. Oh my gosh What the heck? He just picked up some uh, What do they call them shinies? I don't know, but uh, okay. Let's see if uh, maybe if I disconnect my controller go all right i think you might have to sign in as your as me let's see there we go all right okay. i'll just turn my controller on and then... yeah and then you can hear it again you can hear the game again yep okay good and then we'll just tag out again when, right. when i'm done with I'll this just part. watch you wow give me some credit gary i remember press this button to read the signs Read the sign. I don't know, the music is a little loud for the dialogue. I don't know, I thought it was... I thought it was pretty much the same. Breaking news! Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror! So oh. much for fixing this quietly. <laughs> <laughs> Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble! I'm sure they are. Uh-oh. Did you hear his voice clip on that? No. No, did I. <laughs> did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. We'll keep you posted as this tragic <laughs> this story kind of unfolds. <laughs> Tragically, we're sure. Wait, what's kind of awkward? The fact that it's not playing their voice clips. I could swear it's supposed to play the rest of their voice clips. Let me check. What do you mean? So much faith. Authorities are not sure who is responsible. Oh, your headphones. Yeah, it's my headphones again. They're acting up. Hold on. I was about to ask. Hold on. Them. Yeah, it's my headphones. They're acting up. Give me a second. You dumb. Did I say Oops. big trouble? I meant so enormous Wait. that it's hard to comprehend trouble. Wait. We'll keep you posted. Wait, you move. We can move at the We're same. We're moving. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Crazy. How okay. In... Yeah, this is my oh headphones no. being stupid. That's all. All right, Jeff. All Jeff. right. These are shiny objects. Shiny objects are very valuable and may be traded to help SpongeBob along his quest. SpongeBob, SpongeBob will need to collect many shiny objects in order to complete his quest to defeat the robot menace. 
There are five different colors of shiny objects. Red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Red is the most common and the least valuable. Purple is the most rare and therefore the most valuable. More valuable shiny objects are usually harder to find or are in dangerous places. Oh okay. my goodness, this is the greatest thing. Oh my gosh, I love the floaty, the floaty gravity effects. Yeah, dude. Oh my gosh. Unlike the the old Game Boy version, apparently. Oh my Note goodness. From Mr. Krabs. And it even smells sweaty, just like him. <laughs> what the heck? Ahoy there, SpongeBob. As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been er promoted to head shiny object collector. A promotion! That's right, a promotion! So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. I forgot that Clancy Brown wasn't the one Yeah, voice Clancy Brown didn't do the games. I'm not really sure why. No, I'm not really sure why either. And they got like everybody else. Yeah, and like Sandy and Squidward and SpongeBob and Patrick. Plankton, even. The number in the upper right is how many shiny objects he has. The number in the upper center is how many golden spatulas SpongeBob has collected. The number in the lower right is how many of Patrick's lost socks SpongeBob has found. Finally, the number in the upper left is how many pairs of underwear SpongeBob has. <laughs> he apparently, wears, that's important. important. He wears three pairs of underwear at the same time. <laughs> apparently. That's gotta be uncomfortable. Yes, shiny hope. We have 60, we could literally just, never Skip mind. Skip everything. <laughs> but we're not gonna do that, because this is my part. If I, if I, you know, if I skip it, then. You have less to do. This is a pair of SpongeBob's underwear. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches dangerous objects or services. Like this. Once SpongeBob has lost all his underwear, he must start that area back over again. SpongeBob may get back underwear, he has lost by collecting additional pairs along the way. Spongebob starts out with three pairs of underwear, but there are special pairs of gold in underwear <laughs> in the bikini bottom, which if found will allow Spongebob to wear more than three pairs at a time. Wow, honestly, I've never, I've never, Fresh, um. like a spring breeze. <laughs> That's Look at the photo. Oh, wow. They're actual scenes from other episodes. Dude, these lines are so like, oh my gosh, dude, I'm so, these lines to me, because, you know, fresh like a spring breeze. Yeah, this is all so. What is that? I'm trying to think of the word. It's, uh. Nostalgic? Yeah, that's it. Nostalgic. Oh, it's so good. Whoa. And the tiki boxes. Yes. Press X and SpongeBob will do a bubble spin. SpongeBob may use the bubble spin to smash other open tiki boxes or push buttons on walls or defeat most robots. SpongeBob may also bubble spin in midair to hit things that are higher up. So we can go bubble spin. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, <sighs> push, push, push. Oh my gosh. It's I know, I'm so like, oh, I'm reliving my childhood. Like super my combo. Mega combo. He's breaking everything. Press Y when on the ground and SpongeBob will do a bubble bash attack. The bubble bash attack can smash tiki's or robots or push buttons that are directly above SpongeBob. When you see this icon, SpongeBob can stand on it and do the bubble bash attack. I was about to say bubble bash smash attack <laughs> to break tiki's directly above him. Ooh, look at them giggle. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, they are a little creepy. I think they they're always were a teeth. little bit creepy, but for some reason as a kid, I didn't think so. Yeah. To see how well SpongeBob is doing in every level of the game, press that button. When paused, move with the j j joystick and do stuff. When a level selected, press A. View <laughs> details. When details view open, move what and right left to, to get to a hint on each golden spatula that SpongeBob knows about by pressing A. When the faint <laughs> golden spatula and uh, attack a Tixi, big old drop up from any game of the game. Attack a Tixi. Attack a from any way in any game of the game. Look a ball. Ball. Smash! Smash! Break them! Kill them all! Yes. 
fresh like a spring uh -huh. breeze. Eh. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, and you have to get up on that thing and... Where does it start? Pretty, I'm pretty sure it starts up on that Oh, uh, that there's thing. a button. Oh. Oop. Okay. Oh. Can you please go? <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. Can you please stop using up what little time I have to do this? Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm yes. still just as talented at platforming as I was way back when. <laughs> I think more so, probably. Probably after all the time that you spent. I was pretty bad at Maybe playing video games back then. Bed. Hey, what happens if you hit the chest? Is there anything that happens to it? Hold on. Yeah. Oh, uh, 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 uh. I could have sworn you could make his alarm clock go off. I thought so too. I don't know. Hit the chest. Nope. Nothing yeah. happens. Darn it. Ah, well. All right. This is a golden spatula. Golden spatulas are needed to unlock new areas of Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob will need co need to collect many golden spatulas in order to find and defeat the source of the rampaging robots. I'm still thinking of Daka Tizi. Daka Tizi. Daka Tizi. Daka Tizi. Time for tutorial. Collect everything in SpongeBob's house. <laughs> oh my gosh! What a fantastic game! <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool, dude. This is the greatest. I know. Man, Takatiti, this is great. Takatiti, we gotta start using that <laughs> now. <laughs> We're gonna use that as like a, as like an exclamation. Like, oh, Takatiti, watch out! Oh my grayish, grayish, grayish. It's kind of a grayish blue. Nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Oh look, it's a Tiki. SpongeBob, you're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> <laughs> they even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks? <laughs> Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. Okay. <laughs> oh, smack it! Oh! <laughs> Watch this. Oh. Oh. Amazing. These ones have ears. If you don't sneak, then they will kill. I don't know what they'll hey, do. Hey, SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. What was that, like the third episode that was called Bubble Buddy? Yeah, something like that. It was like, like really, really close, like the really, third or really fifth early. episode. Yeah. Bubble Buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. Oh my gosh, that's a <laughs> reference to a previous episode. See, as a kid, I never caught the references because yeah. I hadn't been, I hadn't watched as many episodes. And I had a plus, lot worse plus we were like little, so it's like yeah, our memory, exactly. our flash memory of things were a lot worse. That, Look at the ghostly ships and the brain. green moon out there in the long, long oh, distance. Oh, it's so creepy. Yeah, it's like Dude, a Dude, oh, my brain can't handle how cool this I is. I know, it's so amazing. But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Blew him up. Hmm? Who blew him up? I don't know. Uh, something about new bubble moves? Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Didn't we Try just out. watch a tutorial about this? <laughs> uh huh. You have new powers that were already there. I love opening presents. <laughs> Pretty cat, take it! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, he's so spazzy. Honestly though, I love their their talking animations and stuff. Like I said, the graphics are actually better in game to me. Yeah. Dude, I think the thing is with their... Oh, that was a button. Yeah. Just give me a second. I want to bust up all the T keys real quick. Smash them. Smash. Smash. Do, Get do, rid of them. Do, 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 do. Oh, does he still do the weird animation when he's off screen? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, ah! He does a little... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Trying to drag himself. Boom, shakalaka. Man. Cause, oh, right. What I was gonna say before is, uh, I think the reason why, uh, it's so uh -huh. different, uh, during the animation of that thing is I think they were, they kept roughly the same type of models. You think they reused, they had? they reused the same kind of frames of animation? Now I wear four pairs of underwear. This Woo! is great. <laughs> feel like a new sponge. This is great. <laughs> this is great. Oh. Oh. Quickly! Where's the button in? I didn't get out of the thing! Oh! oh. Yes! Yes! Oh. This opened up to you. Right on top of the house. Oh my gosh, and that animation yeah. is also super memorable. Holy smokes. It's almost more actually, nostalgic in the original, enough I just pressed the, the original, game. The leaves didn't actually do that. They were just automatically open onto a platform like this. Oh wow. Yeah, it didn't even do this in the original. That's my recollection. Dang. That's so cool. Oh look, there's crabs! SpongeBob! Oh, a crab. This flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more crusty crab. No more crusty crab means no more fry cooking for you. No more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. <laughs> and of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. Because apparently Mr. Krabs likes shiny objects. What is he, a cat or a magpie? <laughs> Oh my goodness. I just, I'm, I, every single time I just, I know, I'm struggling. Take a step back I'm and look at Struggling this. with that flow. Rescue jellyfish. <laughs> hey, it almost stunned me. Rescue I was really, really close to agitating it enough to stun me. Wowzer Bowsers, dude. All right. Well, we're going to move on to the next field in a, in a little bit, but it looks like we're out of time for this video, guys. So. We'll be seeing you guys in the next video in Jellyfish Fields where Garrett will be taking the helm. Yep, here we go. Time for the time for the master to step in. Okay, okay, <laughs> that's enough of that. Well, thanks so much for enjoying this video. Of course, tap like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Check out our social media in the description and our previous series before. We'll be seeing you guys in the next video. This is Morgan and Garrett saying bye. See you later. And cut. Well, oh, man, goodness gracious. This game is so nostalgic it's for me. It's so this good, is such, dude. Like, it's one of the few parts of my childhood I can actually remember. Yeah. And one of the few games as a child I could actually win. Yeah, because it was... The thing was, it was like challenging, but at the same time, it was ch challenging to a point where it, was, it wasn't. Yeah, it and wasn't it impossible, was, and it was challenging to a point that you could still retry as many times as you needed to. Exactly. Yeah, I love this game. Yeah, it's awesome.